El miedo es una sensación inherente, con la que el ser humano es capaz de sobrevivir a situaciones de peligro. Sentir miedo es completamente normal. Sin embargo, existen casos en los que puede convertirse en un estado habitual que trae consecuencias negativas a nuestra forma de vida. Elliot, personaje de ficción que aparece en Miedo, el más reciente libro de Kevin Brooks, es consciente de su condición. Tiene miedo a cualquier cosa. It's about, um... It's about a young boy called, called Elliot, who um, he has a kind of condition which makes him afraid of everything, basically. Um, yes, he's, he's, very, he's very kind of scared of simple, ordinary, everyday things. Uh, because of that, he's, he, he lives a very kind of isolated life because he's too frightened to go out. He lives with his mother. Confrontar a sus temores o vivir con ellos el resto de su vida será una encrucijada con la que se enfrentará cuando secuestran a su madre. And the story really is about how he copes with that condition and how he copes when um, he has to go out of the house to find his mother. Kevin Brooks señala que esta es una historia personal con la cual busca describir cómo es sentir miedo, cómo puede afectar la vida de una persona y lo que se puede hacer para mejorar. I don't usually base my characters on real people. Um, this one is a very kind of personal story. It's based, it's based kind of lightly on my experiences. I've had sort of problems with uh, mental health, but it's obviously very exaggerated, very fictionalized. I don't share, I don't share the same specific fears, but I know what it's like to be anxious and afraid quite a lot of the time. En su visita a México, el autor destaca que el libro ha tenido buen recibimiento en nuestro país debido a que los lectores pueden sentirse identificados con las experiencias de Elliot al enfrentar una de las emociones más desagradables para todos. Pretty well really, especially especially here. Um, the the kind of reaction and reception I've got from readers here has been Really fantastic. Um, probably better than anywhere else, really. I think they kind of. Um, it's just. It's. I think they kind of understand better what I'm what, what what I'm kind of talking about. And that's not just. You know, it's not. It's not just a straightforward story. I mean, it is a straightforward story, but there's kind of more to it than that. And I think uh, my readers here appreciate that. And. Get something out of it, and to me, that's you know, that's what that's what books are all about. I'm very, I'm really bad at recommending my own books. I think um, I would always just say, you know, um, try it, um, and you might be surprised that you sort of like it. Uh, it's not a difficult book to read, but it's um, it's thought provoking and it has a good story. So it's the kind of book that when, once you've read it, it will stay in your mind for quite a long time.